Well, federal investigators looking into the possible human trafficking of children who were employed to clean slaughterhouses in the Midwest. This took place at a JBS food slaughterhouse in Grand Island, Nebraska. And according to the Polaris Project, in 2021, more than 10,000 incidents of human trafficking were reported to police. Joining us now to discuss this, Audrey Lute. She's the executive director of the nonprofit, the Multicultural Coalition, which has been helping the children in that area. Audrey, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And these reports of 50 kids, some as young as 13 years old, cleaning the slaughterhouse, uh, just heartbreaking. What is being revealed now about what was actually occurring there? Yes, we had youth as young as 13 and 14 um, cleaning the floors, the facility at the local meatpacking plant. And this isn't, you know, Windex and paper towel kind of cleaning. This is heavy duty chemicals, hot water, uh, full garb um, and, and kind of unimaginable. With your experience in this area, what is the most egregious part of this case? Um, I think the age of the young um, uh, people that were cleaning, 13 and 14, you know, certainly no one younger than 18 should be doing that kind of work. So I think the age is really the thing that horrifies us here locally. Um, vulnerable children uh, from Central America shouldn't be coming here and working so that they can pay for food and shelter. Were these children who were separated from their families or their parents, were their parents uh, here in this country as well? Were they attending school and doing this in off hours? What information do we have? Yeah, so some of the children that were cleaning were going to school during the day. Um, some of them gave clues to their teachers that they may be working at night, such as falling asleep, but others, um, the schools could not tell on the outside anything was wrong. The majority of the children not enrolled in public schools um, and really disconnected from any form of social services. Now, there is no indication that JBS is under investigation for trafficking the children who worked there. Uh, who needs to be held responsible ultimately for what happened? I believe that there is certain levels of responsibility, but ultimately it should be PSSI, the third party cleaning service that employed these children should be held responsibly or uh, responsible for this either financially and or criminally. Um, they're the ones that hired uh, young looking people um, with documents that were false. They should face the consequences. How can one, how can a company hire a 13 year old and, and not ask further questions about whether this person is old enough to be working? I think you either have, you know, a large conspiracy to hire youth or you have a lot of people looking um, in the other direction when very young people are submitting applications to work overnight. All right. Audrey Lutz, certainly appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.